Hey guys, it's me, Guitar, or Felix. I know you haven't heard from me in a while, which is kind of a shame, but in the meantime, I made City Pop. What? A German 17-year-old made City Pop? Well, where do we know that from? I normally make videos about filmmaking, and uh, this will be the main theme of the channel, but today I want to do something different, because I also wanted to make videos about recording a long time ago. If you don't know what City Pop is, it's basically the 80s music of Japan. It's funky, jazzy, but also recognizable like a pop song, which is why it's called City Pop. Having a kind of jazzy pop crossover is really unheard of for people who don't really know City Pop, and uh, having a really recognizable melody or some really jazzy chords is definitely something that I'm really interested in. So there's plenty of tutorials on the internet about how to make future funk, which is the genre that samples city pop most of the time. I did make some of that as well, but let's say you want to be the one being sampled instead of the one sampling someone else. Well, you're in luck today, I haven't found any other tutorial on the internet on how to make city pop, so... Uh, Let's do this. So before we get into this, you obviously need to know a thing or two about songwriting. So let's say you want to write your first song and say, oh, great, let's do city pop. No, it's not gonna be like that, because jazz is really nothing... Jazz is nothing easy. Because there's lots of seventh, ninth, and even diminished or augmented chords in jazz songs, and basically every kind of chords you could imagine, you need to know a, a thing or two about those as well. Another example, let's say you're learning your first instrument. Do you start off with jazz? No. So, this is nothing for beginners. I also want to point out that this is my first city pop song I have ever written, so... There is some mistakes that I have made in this song. Nothing too bad, but uh, something you'd probably want to avoid. With that being said, Let's get into it. So one route to go is putting a really jazzy chord progression at the beginning of the song as an intro. And uh, this, for example, happens in Plastic Love. If there's no chord progression on your mind at the moment, it's good to start off with the bossa nova. And I actually came up with this. really jazzy. Because that's not the right tempo for a city pop, I slowed that down quite a bit, recorded that with the stereo capsule of my Zoom H5, put some drums under it, some slap bass, a string pad, and a really nice dreamy bell arpeggio with lots of reverb and lots of delay. I didn't steal from another song at all. For the verse I played more of a four chord but still jazzy progression on my electric guitar. Because using an acoustic guitar for city pop is actually quite an exception. It's... I don't even think there's a single city pop song with an acoustic guitar in it. The standard drum pattern for City Pop is actually pretty simple, so I made a simple drum pattern. Continued with the slap bass. And also added a really typical, not just City Pop, but 80s element, which is the DX7E piano. And for that, I actually took the Dex plugin, which is free, so... Uh, I'd recommend you take that. I mean, it's free and still sounds pretty good.
Now for the B-verse or the pre-chorus. For that one I invented a different chord progression, which is a bit like the intro, but not quite the same. And for that one I had the string pad return. I copied these two parts, cause that was the way I wrote the song, and added the bell arpeggio at the end of the second pre-chorus. You can see I'm really proud of it. Because I didn't really know how to resolve that chord at the end, I just made it a key change. Which is something I'm also really proud of, even though I didn't notice it at first. I was kind of experimenting with it like that, and was like, well, how can I resolve this chord? Like, Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's take that. Like, let's take that. Yeah. That's good. I might have noticed the real major mistake I made was I just made 12 measures. I just put 12 measures in my chorus, which is, let's just say it like that, not optimal. But on the other hand, that way the song's not quite as long. Spoiler, it's five and a half minutes, which does match the genre. After the chorus, I put the obligatory instrumental part with the funky brass ensemble. Of course you need a funky brass ensemble in your city pop song. There is some without it, but it's really uncommon. You should put a funky city pop brass ensemble in your city pop song. Otherwise, it's not really that typical for the genre and uh, it might be questionable if it's a city pop song at all. For that one, I took a trumpet, a trombone, a saxophone and another trumpet, pitch one octave higher, all playing unison. Whether that's a good thing or not, well, you might argue with that, because um, often in a big band they don't play that way, but I just made them play unison for simplicity's sake. After that, it was just copying. I put another verse with A and B part, another chorus, a part for the solo, which was the pre-chorus, or the verse B part, however you want to call it, then the chorus again, and the instrumental part, being repeated as a fade out. So what I haven't done yet is recording the lyrics, and I'm actually quite nervous about that, because I'm not really the best singer, and uh, I, don't think, I don't think anyone actually thinks like that except maybe for people like Rumi. I haven't really recorded my own lyrics before a whole lot, so uh, this is gonna be quite a challenge, but it's doable. Especially because I do have auto-tune on my PC. And I need it. Auto-tune is no replacement for good singing whatsoever. You need to be able to sing properly, and auto-tune is just really perfecting it. All right. So let's do it. Okay, so one problem with this is that I don't really speak any Japanese, just a couple of words. So whether this is real city pop or not, you might discuss, but there is English city pop. Think about Tetsuro Yamashita's Magic Ways. Yamashita? I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it. Oh, by the way, that song also works as a bossa nova. I think... I actually think I'm gonna make a version of it as a bossa nova, just to show. That's just in English, but it's quite an exception. So what I've done is, I've kind of reversed the way city pop works. Cause most of it is in Japanese, but contains some snippets of English. This song is mostly in English, but contains snippets of Japanese, so uh, yeah. 
Let's see how that goes. Let's make our first tries and the best one I'm gonna add it in here. I hope it works. Okay, so I just made a first test recording, which actually wasn't too bad. There's just room for improvement, as it's always the case. So now I'm just gonna make a few more practice recordings before I show you the real version. And to be honest, it'll look the same. So uh, let's just use this one. So Japanese will have to do... That's what happens when it lags. You gotta set a higher sampling. No, not a higher sampling rate, a higher buffer. Jeez, that's 512. Has it really gotta be higher? That's a long time But that long you've been playing with us I've always kinda wondered What made you stay in our bed And I, like always Can't hold myself together You're keeping Stay in my mind forever It wasn't until last year Well, they miss it that long ago I started looking at you But didn't really give it a go But I Kinda should have I really could have faded Someone like you to stay with You're making me creative I just can't help it I'm in it again Falling Right in there Can't I just concentrate There's nothing I can make Can't say all this in English And German's quite hard too So Japanese will have to do Daisuke Dayo If you'd like to see a full version of this song, hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I promise it's gonna be better, I just didn't really have enough time to make a real, real good version out of this because literally I'm turning 18 tomorrow, so this has gotta be up tomorrow actually. So whether this is quite like Billie Eilish or not, we might discuss that. So anyway, this was my first music tutorial ever, so how was it? Did you learn something from it or did I forget something. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about that and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Now we gotta talk about Future Funk once again. So I was thinking about a little challenge we could make out of the full version. And that would be the Sample Me Challenge. Pretty self-explanatory, you can sample the song and make some Future Funk or Vaporwave or whatever you want out of it and uh, send me this. Maybe tag me on Instagram or something. I don't really use Twitter, maybe I should. And if I get enough submissions, I might react to it in another video. So, uh, what do you think about that? Also tell me that in the comments below. And maybe, maybe you have written some City Pop before and have any suggestions as an improvement. I'm open to that. But anyway, if you'd like to see more music tutorials and filmmaking tutorials and some interesting vlogs. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up so I got some feedback from you guys. Yeah, so this has got to be up tomorrow. I better edit this right now. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out! Can't say all the in English and German squad are too So Japanese will have to do Dice
Ski day Whoa. Oh, that didn't fit at all. Damn.